join. I'm just waiting for my boy Chucky to join real quick so we can get this shit started real fast. Yo. What up, what up, what up? Got Don D in the chat, what's good? Alright, shit, I think this is gonna work because I'm screen recording on the other phone. So, shit, got to jump right into this real quick. First off, let's introduce you, uh, let's give you a stage name, and how did that come about? Yeah, so, my name's Young Chucky, for those that don't know, uh, you know, straight from the QC, born and raised there, uh, I'm out in uh, Des Moines now. But uh, I got my uh, I got my name from my homie Isaiah. Actually, we was uh, just growing up together. I was probably like maybe like 13, 14, and back then I was just a little hothead. So and I had red hair. So he started calling me Chucky. He's like, "Man, you like Chucky? You guys twisted." So I, it just kind of like everybody just stuck with it, and they just started calling me that. So uh, it really started with him, and then it just kind of ran from there. And then I just ran with it. It was already too long to change it, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. I felt that. I felt that. Shit. Um, how long have you been rapping and what made you want to start? Yeah, so uh that's a good question, man. It go it go pretty in depth with that one. Uh I started rapping I guess you could say I started rapping like around like twelve is when I first started like writing. Just like fucking around, like being interested in it. And then uh like from Eminem and stuff like that, he kind of inspired me to like start writing at that age. Uh, it, you know what I mean, right? So, uh, so I started writing or whatever, and then it just uh, expanded from there. And then 15, uh, when I was like 15, my uh, my brother he had actually committed suicide. R.P. Oliver for real. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you remember that Ten Toes Down challenge uh, from a couple years back. Yeah, it was like around that time. And then I like. I made one of those videos and then my homie that recorded it, he was like, yo, you got to start, you know, you got to start rapping for real. Like, like you got some. So I was like, yeah, start taking it more seriously then. And I've just been you know, you know, trying to create art that way. Linked up with some, some cool individuals, Branson, shout out Branson. Uh, yeah. He, uh, he got me in the studio with Indie Kill and uh, fucking, they showed me how to record and shit. And then it was just up from there. Uh, he been doing that shit. Since. Yeah, and then my my pops he uh he passed away recently. So after that happened, uh, I really like I really took that shit like super serious. You know what I mean? He was my biggest fan. So uh, you know I'm doing this shit to make him proud, and uh, that's why I, I do everything myself. You know, damn near now. You know, I got you know I record my own vocals, engineer. I can make beats now. You know what I'm saying? So, in the progress i've seen the progress over the last couple of years i'm proud of you my boy yeah for real. so yeah so that that's really what keep me going and that's what uh that's what drive me to you know build this art and whatnot shit um so who who are some of your favorite artists that inspire you to do what you do today man it's like favorite artists man it's like i always say my homies you know what i mean like branson i already shouted him out like for real he uh he really inspired me for real, for real. Yeah, like I saw how he did it, how he was did, 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 twisted, like his flow was insane. I was like, man, I gotta out rap this motherfucker. What you mean? You know what I mean? That, that, he inspired the fuck out of me to do that shit, man. Like they really put me in the in the stoop. Uh, but like, as far as like mainstream artists, man, I grew up listening to a lot of different shit. Like, uh, I had my different phases, you know, listening to like Eminem. Then it kind of mm -hmm. developed more into like rock, classic rock. Uh, Dying down, motherfucking system of a down, fucking bring me the rising, and then it more developed into like 2016. It was like you know Lil Uzi and uh, Caskey. I fuck with Caskey heavy. Um, yeah, I fuck with it. You know, uh, Young Pinch. I fuck with his shit. That, you know, those those are some of the people that kind of their sounds and like the story of it all. Uh, you know, the realness of it kept me coming back to it. Hey, real quick, I want to say shout out Don D. I see you watching the live right now. My bad. I know you just texted me. I'm gonna get up with you as soon as we're done with this, my boy. Um, 
Shit. Next question that I see. Uh, when you get that, when you get that big check, what's the first thing that you gonna buy with it? I'm gonna invest it all into more businesses. Like, <laughs> get some more money. We gotta spend. We getting some more money, for real. Some more money. Shit. Um, what is your favorite personal Young Chucky song? It don't matter if anybody else is on it, if it's just you, but what is your favorite personal Young Chucky song? Man. I don't know, man. They, they all fucking so dope. I don't think I got a favorite. <laughs> I can't, bro, I can't hey, man, my I mean, smile. I, I, guess, I guess there's some that I hold, I hold near to my heart, you know, uh, like, uh, Eventually, that one I hold that one pretty close to me. I was speak, speaking on some real shit on that one. You know, I remember the the moment I made that, how I felt. And, uh, yeah, I let it out on that one for sure. And you snapped when you performed that shit in Des Moines. Me and my boy was first and second place. We should have took home first and second and fucking in Chicago too. I don't know how that ended. You know, it is. What it, it is. is what it is, man. We dope, man. I don't, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, need, I don't know need it. validation. You know what I'm saying? Shit, go and then and that kind of leads into the next question. With uh, what's the biggest obstacle that you've had to face in your music career? Biggest obstacle, man. Biggest obstacle is really uh, fighting through. Cause I feel like every artist goes through this moment where they're like, man, like, like what's going on? I feel like I can't create. You know what I mean? Uh, like some like writer's block, whatever you want to call it. Uh, vo your voice might be sounding ass on the set, yeah. but it's about like knowing that like. You got to go in with no intentions. You can't be going in there expecting something. So that that was like the hardest barrier for me was like letting go of expectations and letting the art flow for itself. So once I let go of those expectations, uh, things come a lot more naturally now. That's, and that's some real shit because you're the only person that can hold yourself back when it comes to shit like that. Yeah. So shit, on the last... On the last episode, we actually had the artist bring you up when I asked this question, and it was kind of crazy. So I mean, you don't have to answer, you know, unless you unless you feel like responding to it. But do you have any rap beef, and why? Nah, there ain't no, no beef, man. Bugs get no stepped beef. on. They already been stepped on. You know, motherfuckers don't want to expand on shit. They know the truth. Uh, I mean, I mean, if you want to use my name for some clout, I mean, more power to him. I guess he feel like so. Do what you gotta do. Shit. But I mean, Shit. hey, and that's what I about. last time he seen this face, it wasn't a good look for him. So I don't know if he want to see me, see me again. You know, behind the screen, everybody feels safe. So. Shit. All right. Well, shit. You guys both said what you had to say. You feel me? And whatever else has to be said after that is. Nah. It, ain't no beef, man. He just cloud, cloud chasing. Oh shit! Outside, outside of making music. What goes on in the life of Chucky? Man, steady working. I got so much shit in the works for 2024, man. So I, I actually might, you know, I might fuck around, give you the exclusive drop on a, a, a next move here live on, on the on the Go Talk interview uh, with yeah. CGD. So, uh, but on my day to day, man, I, I, I sleep, wake up, I go to work. Uh, I, uh, I work with uh, at-risk youth, so troubled youth, uh, yeah. you know, criminal history, uh, you know, fucked up past and stuff like that, make mistakes. Uh, I was one of them, you know, so I, uh, on a day-to-day, -day, I'm, I'm basically just a mentor. I, uh, I try to help, help these people find a way, uh, you know, find good ways to release their, that energy, you know, to stay on a high vibration. That way they're not, you know, letting their environment change them, you know, but that's a, uh, your environment will always change you before you change it, but you got to be the one that's willing to go outside that box. So that's really, I mean, I'll just be working with kids, man. Uh, and then I, I just, you know, be caked up my girl chilling. And then I got the home studio. So, you know, I go to work, come home, and then I'm instantly on there. I'm making beats, engineering, uh, talking to people, networking. You know, it's always uh, something to do with either music or work. You know what I mean? So it's always work at the end of the day. Not much time for Shit, pleasure. I love, that. I love that for real. And we need more people. We need more people like that for the youth because, like you said, I you was a child that was crazy. I was a crazy child. You feel me? Like we was all out here acting bad, and we need people that's gonna preach to the youth instead of just sending them off like motherfuckers sent us off for real. And that's facts. And shout out to you for all the shit you're doing in the QC. I know we was uh 
we talked about a lot of this shit, and then you uh, you ran with it, and y'all doing some shit now. So that's that's dope. I'm, I'm really trying, bro. I'm really trying. Thank you for real, for real. Um, so shit. Uh, earlier when we was talking, you said you had a couple projects and shit that you was trying to promote. Something that you want to talk about? You got you got some new music yeah, and shit man. coming out. Yeah, I got I got a couple couple exciting things on the way. Um, the first one, you know, I've already kind of let people know about it, teased it a little bit. Uh, that King Nose feature, we got that coming. You know, the motherfucker y'all seen rolling blunts with no arms, motherfucker no feet. He put in ten times the amount of work that half of these motherfuckers make excuses about, and he do it with without half the shit we got. Fuck with him. I uh, fuck with his message, man. He always keep it real on the track, man. Th th this track is called uh, "Not Scared to Be Alone." So, uh. What it basically this track is about over just basically overcoming adversity like like at some point have you looked in the mirror and been like man like i know you could do better type shit like you could be going harder like you look at yourself like you need to go hard like like it's like that's what this track about man it's, it's gonna be a fucking banger and i can't wait for y'all to hear it. it's coming out this month uh for february um so be on the lookout for that this January. I'll drop that date soon. Uh, I got one more, and this one, this one's crazy, man. So if y'all not in tune for this one, you fucking fell asleep, fell on your face, motherfucking woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. And you already know, I'm, hey. of course I'm going to be promoting that. As soon as you drop that bitch, let me know, and I'm going to send it out yeah. everywhere. So Young Chucky, Danny Youngkin came together. We partnered on the track, fucking my boy DJ Cali some shit. We got the black sheep himself, Caskey, hopping on the beat with us. And that that's coming soon this year. Just wait, though. Just wait. Just wait. There's more. There's more. Young Chucky not done yet. Danny Youngkin not done yet. We got Clever hopping on the motherfucking track. Yeah, the Clever that, that that's with Juice World. That was with Post Malone. Got songs with NLE. Got songs with Justin Bieber. Fucking legends. Fucking legends. Don't play. We just got the track back today. I'm letting the world know now. It's coming soon, so be on the fucking lookout. Test me coming to all platforms soon. Hey, that shit's wild. Those are big moves for real, my boy. For real. That's I'm proud of you. Yeah. Shit. And they hearing it here live on the motherfucking GOAT. Whatever interview podcast whatever the fuck you want to call it Perfect. Whatever we call it, drug, man. Man. It's and that's, gonna, that's gonna lead into the next one is, is since we're dropping all this and i know you already got all this other music what platforms can the fans find you on man you can find me on all platforms spotify youtube motherfucking soundcloud iheart radio wherever the fuck you use you can go find me on it snapchat instagram go run me up on the reels use my sounds vibe out to them Y'all gonna fuck with me, man. I spit real shit. And if you've been through life and you felt that shit, then you gonna feel me. Verified artist with the check mark. You feel that? Me and my boy got this song with Don D that we just did. Um, and I also got we also got a couple other things. I'm waiting on my engineer. He's also gonna hop on that uh, that kind of like sad singing shit that we did. I'm not gonna say too much, but you yeah, know what yeah. song I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Produced by Young as soon as as soon as he gets his verse done on that, then I'm putting that bitch out. I just don't know when I'm gonna have that shit done. When he's gonna have that shit done yet? And uh, shit. And anything else you want to tell yeah. the people? Yeah, man, go run up that boss moves two fifteen nineteen. You know what it is, for real, for real. Brody Spaz on that. Go check out that. I don't want to know Young Chucky feature on that. Shout out to Don D too. Man, there's a there's a lot of shit in the works. Y'all stay in tune. Don't sleep on us, man. It's gonna be a crazy year. Putting a lot of motherfuckers in motion, putting a lot of things in motion, and we just gonna keep going up. Ain't nowhere to go but up. You feel me? Nowhere but yeah. up. Yeah. I, thank you, my boy. Thank you for taking the time out your day to let me interview you and shit. I'm gonna pop back in a couple months and we're gonna do another interview and see where things is at then. Just keep your head up, keep making that music for real, keep pushing forward on everything. Yeah. Salute, my boy.